one of my beef with McFarland figures is that the figures cannot look up. Now, especially for Superman, right? So if you want him flying, and see that he can't look up. Now let's try to fix this. Take off the head and look at that. So you can see it's a ball joint. Let's see if there's anything that we could do with that. But before you do anything like this, fair warning, this could ruin your figure. So don't try it if you're not sure and if you're not willing to have a broken figure. I have here a candle. There you go. And I'm going to warm this up. This is just a Phillips screwdriver. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to create a notch here. Let's see if I can do that. So what I'm trying to do in this, and let's see if I can keep that in there without falling. No, I'm going to fall. But the part right here, let me show you. Part right here at the back. I'm going to try to dig, dig a, a canal in there. And I'll show you why. I'm going to do... You're going to melt that portion. There you go. Okay. Now, as you can see, the back now has been melted. There's a little bit of room in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put back the head if I can find it. Oh, there you are. All right, I got that in. Now let's see how far this thing can look up now. Look at that. That is much better. See that? So if he's flying, at least now he can see where he's going. Now for the front view, see how far he can look up. And there you go. See the difference. Now, it holds up. So it's not, you know, the integrity of that ball joint is still there somehow. With the only difference now that this thing can really look up. So let's try that again on another figure. This is the speeding bullet, Batman Superman. And as you can see, if you try to have him look up, this is as far as he's gonna go. And this thing is supposed to be able to fly because it's Batman Superman. Oops, there you go. As you can see, it has the same similar design to the other this is the superman well, what i'm going to do i'm going to do the same i'm going to hit this up now make sure when you're doing this to get a screwdriver that's not very big because you don't want to do a lot of damage to the back and here this is where we're going to put a notch or a canal And let's do it with this one. There you go. 
So now I got that canal at the back. I don't know if, don't know if you could see the difference, but let's try it. There you go. Well, that not much of a difference. Just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit better. Let's see if we could make it look up more. And that is far as it can go. And the limitation on this one, let me show you. It's this part right here. So on the Superman, this is soft. So what happens is if I pull this up, this thing actually bends, as you can see. Right? So he can actually do that. But here, this is hard rubber. Unless I, uh, yeah, unless I do something about this, he's not going to be able to look up. And that I don't want to do because that's going to ruin it aesthetically from the outside. But he's able to uh, look up now better. As you can see, this is how he looks up now. And compared to before, which I will show you. So this is on the... On this side, this is before, and this is how he is now. So, it works for some figures. It's not going to work for every figure, but when it works, it works well. And I, I think it's worth doing, especially of if you have characters that can fly. Now, it's not going to work for characters like this. I can tell that because if you look at the uh, the head itself, the joint is not in here. So, the joint is not from here, but all the way to the neck right here. Um, and I've been trying to I've been trying to pull this off, but I couldn't. Well, let me see. Let me see if I can pull this off. I stopped. So I didn't want to pull this off anymore because if you look here in this area, because the joint is not on the head itself, but right to the neck down here, if I do something and allow it to look up more, it's going to show. See, it's already showing. See that? It's not going to work for this one. So I am not going to do it for that one. But let's see. Let's see if I could do it with the Batman Beyond. Batman Beyond. Again, the character can fly. But... That is how far it's going to be able to look up. So even if it's flying, it's, all, it's always looking down. Now I'm not sure how far that's going to go. I think that's, I think with this one, that's far how it's going to go. But let's try. We'll take this off. And again... It's the same design. Let's try this one. Okay. And then heat up the back. Heat that up. Just make a canal right at the back. And there you go. And it's very hard to focus. There you go. See that canal that I made at the back? And then 
we're gonna put this in and just a bit he was able to make it look up a bit just a bit but that's not bad at all look let's see yeah that's how far it's gonna go but you know McFarlane we shouldn't be doing this McFarlane should be able to find a way to do this with their figures right off the factory I mean especially with these things this is supposed to be able to fly and when you're able to fly in this direction you should be able to look up right but look after I did that see how far now it's able to tilt upwards so that's not bad at all now it's looking a little bit straight so when it's flying it looks better now than than before do i recommend doing this to your figures if you're concerned about posability yeah you just got to be really careful don't overdo it like this one don't overdo it to a certain degree you'll able to pull it off like this one now if he's flying he's in a good position now so what you do you bend his body a little bit up like that and he's in perfect position perfect pose for flying right like the feet are like that up like that now the head is in the perfect position could use a little bit more but that's fine that's that's great as it is rather than before it could only do as much as this which is crazy so he's always looking down even when he's flying if you're gonna do it be real careful make sure you don't do a lot of damage because what's gonna happen is if you do then this thing is gonna fall up immediately so you're not gonna be able to attach it properly and it's not gonna work on every figure I can tell you that uh, some of the figures are different like this one see how there's a lot of things that are blocking the back so check your figure first make sure you have enough clearance make sure that the back of the head is not very very hard very tight because if you do if it's if it's it it is then you know you're not going to be able to make any difference like for this one this one probably we can do okay but if you look at the back this is hard rubber so we're not we might not be able to get a lot out of it so again have a look at the figure do an assessment first don't just go in and then make the modification because you don't want to end up a figure that's broken or one that you cannot use this is probably one of the figure yeah this is going to be a very good candidate oh no yeah see this one is not a good candidate and so i won't be touching this one so once again guys thank you for watching and please don't forget to click like share subscribe and hit that notification bell for more of my videos and i will see you on my next one bye